everybody, welcome to my kitchen in the next episode of Just What the Doctor Ordered. I'm Dr. Katie Benson, and today I wanna to show everybody how to make one of my favorite vegetable side dishes, and it is Brussels sprouts. And um, before you turn up your nose, um, you'll wanna to listen to this recipe, because Brussels sprouts, actually, I used to hate them. Um, I made them a couple of times. My husband and I, we just didn't like them at all. We had to hold our nose to eat them. They were so bitter. And then I discovered um, this great recipe, and now they actually, they become one, one of our favorite side dishes, and um, it's super easy. And so if you're not used to cooking Brussels sprouts, I'm gonna show you you know exactly how to cook them and how to make them taste amazing. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is um, just a saute pan. I'm gonna get that going, and then I'm gonna put um, some coconut oil in there. So I'll just put like a, a tablespoon or two of coconut oil in the pan, and we'll let that melt. And then what we're gonna add to that is just some of our, our vegetables to season it. Um, I'm just doing like half of a, a white onion. Just uh, chop it up, mince it up. And this is part of the flavor. Uh, when I first made them, I just kind of tried to steam them or saute them by themselves. And I think they just need a couple extra ingredients. So we get the coconut oil going, we add the onion to it. And then our next thing that we're gonna add to it is a red bell pepper. So red bell peppers are actually super high in vitamin C. And um, the great, like the red color is just loaded with antioxidants. So they're actually a great food to eat, a super food. And um, you're just gonna chop them into little, you know, pieces. And I did a whole red pepper for this recipe. I have some of it already pre-chopped up. So, um, and this recipe is about a bag of Brussels sprouts or two bags. Actually, this one I'm making is two bags. And um, anytime I make a, a vegetable side dish, I always try to make a ton extra. That way um, I can have it for leftovers. We can have it for le leftovers the next day. And uh, you have to cook less and then you can get more out of it. Good. So that's just gonna saute up. You don't want it to get too soft. You just want, you still want them to be crispy, but you just wanna be getting uh, it took down a little bit. And then you're also gonna add a couple cloves of garlic. I would normally add a lot more. I'd probably put between two or three cloves of garlic. Garlic and the Brussels sprouts go really good together. Okay. Now we got the Brussels sprouts. So these are what they look like if you've never cooked with them before. They're super nutritious and, um, and you can actually make them taste good. So the first thing you do is you chop off the end part, the stem part, and then I think this is another good tip too. You wanna chop it in half and then you wanna half it again. Uh, the more that that cooks through, the less bitter that they are. And so you wanna cut it into either quarters or if they're smaller Brussels sprouts, you can cut them into just, you know, halves like that too, and that'd be okay also. But the first time I cooked them, I just cooked them whole and didn't turn out good. <laughs> Perfect. And then you're gonna go ahead and um, add your Brussels sprouts in to your mixture of uh, vegetables. I already went ahead and pre-cooked or pre-chopped up a lot of the Brussels sprouts. Just add them in there. And you can see this dish actually looks really good with the red and the green and the onion. Um, and it smells amazing. And you're just gonna cook that till the Brussels sprouts turn like a, a slightly deeper green color. You're not gonna cook it to death, but you just wanna get it a little bit tender to where that gets a little bit green. And then we're gonna add our seasoning. And this is a key part. The first thing you wanna do is just put in um, some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna sprinkle it with salt. 
you know, probably, you know, maybe a half a teaspoon of salt or just salt to taste. And I'm using the, the Celtic sea salt and then um, also sprinkling it with pepper. And then what I'll put in it too is uh, garlic powder. So I'm gonna put, this is a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, goes in, and then one teaspoon of cumin. And ground cumin, if you're not used to cooking with it, it's one of my favorite spices. I use it in Mexican food. And then it also just adds a nice like earthy flavor to the Brussels sprouts. So there's one uh, teaspoon of cumin, and then I'll do a teaspoon of red chili pepper flakes. If you don't like things spicy, you don't have to add that in, but it does give it just a good flavor and a good color in there too. And then um, you're gonna let that cook down, you'll stir that. Okay, and then what I consider to be probably the secret ingredient with Brussels sprouts is um, a little bit of maple syrup. And um, normally in our cooking, like, we don't recommend much sugar, but you could use stevia in it. I've used it before and it turns out okay. But you're just using a minimal, minimal amount and the sweetness with the Brussels sprout sets it off. Um, I brought this to family get togethers and people that normally would hate Brussels sprouts, they love them. And I think one of the ingredients is because of the maple syrup, it just gives it that little sweet kick with that too. So we're gonna put about a tablespoon um, to two tablespoons of the maple syrup. Just depending on how big a batch your Brussels sprouts are, you know, I have two big bags of Brussels sprouts that I've chopped up. And so we're gonna go with about two tablespoons. Okay. And you'll just mix that all together. And then the last thing that we're gonna wanna do when it comes to cooking these, I'm gonna take them off the saute pan and I'm gonna transfer it to a dish that I can cook it in the oven. Like you see, I have the rest of my Brussels sprouts that I, I already pre-cut up. And I'm gonna put them in there. Perfect. And then I'm gonna finish that off in the oven. And this is another key part. I think when you roast the Brussels sprouts, it brings out a whole nother flavor than if you just are sauteing them. And when I roast them, I'll roast them, you know, at, uh, 350 for probably 15 minutes and then I'm going to finish them off um, with the broiler and I'll put them under the broiler for just like two minutes and all I want to do with that is when I look in the pan I want to see a little bit of like um, light brown or just a little bit of like carameling on the Brussels sprouts from the broiler and it adds like a really good flavor with that too. And um, I recommend trying it, even if you don't like Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts you're gonna be surprised um, that you'll actually probably end up loving this. And thanks for watching another episode of Just What the Doctor Ordered.